Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love read. This is your mid-April reading. However, time can be fluid, okay? So whenever you come to this, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. It is a general, so roles can be reversed. Could be baggage you've been carrying around. Could be third party. Just take what feels light to you. Let go of the rest. If you are new here, welcome. I am an intuitive, and so as such, some of it's not going to be traditional tarot. All right, so that may not <laughs> be for you. All right, so I'm pulling for the collective. I'm going to get a little message for the intention of the reading. Let's see what's going on here. All right, I feel like you are rising up, okay? Perhaps becoming more spiritually connected, all right? getting more messages, getting more downloads. Um, as I'm talking, like I'm feeling like my crown chakra is opening up. So I do feel that a lot of you are starting to come into this very awakened, very connected state. Okay. Um, it could be showcasing here that I'm getting breathing, okay, and meditation could be very helpful as you go through this process. Now, for the reading, the intention here is the miser, the four of pentacles. This person is holding on to everything really tightly, but looking at the past. So you could be wondering if you made the right decision, but we will see. Okay, so we're going to look at the overview, obstacles and blockages current energy, potential outcome with advice. Okay, so the overview. <laughs> Divine timing here. The wheel is turning. Okay, and I feel like it's turning no matter what. So uh, Spirit saying to me, there's no going back. Okay, you can only go forward. There is no going back. All right. The obstacle here, it's this going forward, okay? I feel like you may have taken a step to move forward, especially because you're the one holding all of the jewels in the miser card. You took an abundant step forward, and um, you're doing well here, okay? And yet, there may be a little guilt, maybe a little guilt of moving on and doing well and kind of leaving someone behind. Current energy, five of swords, okay? So something ended, something was definitely over, at least in the state that it was in. And you may have had to move on without any true clarity. And so, although you've emotionally moved on from this in a lot of ways, bottom of the deck with the Eight of Cups, there still may be a lot of sadness about taking the actions that you had to take and about feelings that you have for this person. potential outcome and advice, you will get the closure, okay? You will get the clarity and you will finally move forward in this, okay? Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands. So that's actually some beautiful energy to be moving towards. So let's go ahead and clarify. And it was weird. I just had a little, I don't even know what it was, crawling on my desk. And maybe it came from inside of my flowers. I don't know. But it felt like it came out of my cards. And I was like, ooh, what is that? And then it was gone. And there's nothing on my finger. So I don't even know if I was like seeing imaginary things. So if you just have like a spider on your wall or something. Or an ant on your counter. Then pay close attention <laughs> to this message. Okay, I feel like 
you may have been trying again and again and again, because if you look at here on the Eight of Pentacles, what she's trying to create here, she's tried and tried and tried again, but it's in the form here of the clock, okay, of the Wheel of Fortune. And so you may have tried and tried and tried, but suddenly something has taken flight, okay, and you really are, okay, moving towards really good things. We also have the emperor here. And um, the emperor doesn't have a lot of clothes. <laughs> doesn't look so bad, though. Um, but you may feel like you kind of left someone without a lot as you are rising up. For some of you, this was a glow up, right? But you put in the work. Spirit says with the forge here and the page of swords, okay, you put in the work, quit doubting yourself. All right, you put in the work, quit doubting yourself. All right. We are the hardest on ourselves, aren't we? So, Ace of Wands, you had two paths. And you had to make what was kind of a tough decision for you. But I don't feel like you did it intentionally deception with deception. Um, but this person may still have been like, I was hurt and they're pouting because you're, you're moving away from them. Ten of Swords. Okay, Four of Cups. They may have kind of laid the guilt on heavy on you as you moved away. Current energy, Five of Swords. Yeah, Four of Swords. Okay, you feel alone. If you've moved to a new city, if you've moved away from this person, you may, they may have gotten custody of the friends. Okay, custody of the apartment, custody of the cat, okay? Like, you may feel just isolated and alone in this situation right now. But, all right, page of wands. It's really interesting, okay? There's a flower opening up in the dark here with the Queen of Wands. Actually, they're telling me this is not the Queen of Wands. They're telling me that this is the Knight of Wands. I feel like something is going to come in and surprise you. And all of a sudden, you're going to be aware of this inner fire within you. It could be just a simple message from someone new. Okay. So, Ace of Swords, Future Energy, Three of Swords, the Hangman. Okay. I feel like you're going to get your clarity and you're going to move on to someone new. And this person is sad about it. And they feel stuck in time. They feel stuck and trapped, still pining for you. Okay. But you also feel sad and still entangled, okay, in all of this. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, 
Spirit saying, you were not the one with the secrets, okay? You were not the one with the secrets. You were above board on everything. You may be getting clarity that this person had secrets that you kind of knew. And they're kind of trapped now. Like, here, look at the secrets. See all that light in that, right? They're stuck there in the secret. They're stuck there in that energy, that time and space where they're like, if I could just do it over again, okay? If I could just do it over again, I would change. Okay, so tell me about the emperor with no clothes. Okay, I feel like this person is going through a transitionary phase, okay? Trying to find their course, trying to find their calm waters. Um, and a part of you may be tired of waiting for them to just pull their shit together, okay, move on. Four of vessels, four of cups, right, boredom. Page of Swords here. All right. The mirror in reverse. You were, again, you've been above board and you've been seeking some sort of clarity and you've been feeling a part of this guilt for how you've worked really hard and finally gotten some success. But there's a part that you're not seeing, okay? And that's the fact that this person was not coming in vibrationally aligned to you. And that there was no way for you to stay with this person when your energies were rising and they were not matching. Tell me about two of wands. Yeah, okay. The, the choice was the wheel's going to turn either way. I can take this beginning that I've worked really hard on creating. I'm getting for some of you, you could be an artist, okay? Because I've got the spinning here, um, which is really reminding me a lot of the glass blowing. I've got the weaving here. So you could be an artist. Maybe you're moving to New York to work in a gallery or something. Um, maybe you've gotten accepted to some like amazing program. But you have the choice, right? Do I follow my passion or do I stay here? And this person always knew that this was your passion. Okay. Yeah, and here we've got, all right, the Empress. You worked really hard at this, and it was something that you may have never thought was attainable, and all of a sudden, boom, you're given this, okay? This amazing possibility, this amazing opportunity, the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, it's celebration, it's joy, okay? Three of Cups. How could you have turned that down? There's no possible way that you could turn that down. Of course, this person is pouty, right? Yeah. Four of Pentacles. Trying to protect themselves. Okay. In the mode of, of victimhood. Yeah. They don't understand how this could have come to an end, the world in reverse. Eight of Cups, okay? They don't understand how you're having this rebirth. How are you moving on without them? Knight of Pentacles, right? Like, how are you doing this? And they're still stuck here.
So current energy here, okay? Tell me about Page of Wands. <laughs> the Knight of Swords, okay? A hawk. Somebody may have been watching you like a hawk. Um, and just right place, right time, okay, to connect. Two of Swords, impatient. Okay, I feel like it's injustice, but I feel like it's impatient. Because she feels like she's waiting for something to birth. So you could be waiting for this new thing to take off, okay? So what Spirit's kind of showing me is maybe the program doesn't start, okay? Maybe until, you know, May 1st or something. And you're kind of, you know, in this sort of state where you're like, I can do the things that I need to get done before then. Or I can do these things over here that I don't really need to do and, and go out and get to know things. And you don't really know what to do. And suddenly I feel like impulsively, I feel like you're going to make some sort of choice. And that's when you're going to connect with someone. Yeah, when I say Ace of Pentacles, right place, right time. There's my stone clock. Okay, right place, right time. Suddenly, someone to talk to. Okay, and we've got here Knight of Wands, a little bit of impulsive, right? And it's okay. You're going on a new journey. It's okay to be a little impulsive. It's okay to go out at night and have this flame ignited. Because here's what they're showing me, right? Look. Look, it is, this was, this was broken. This was done. And this person has left, but they're connecting with someone, right? Over here. Connecting. Okay. This is part of your journey. This is meant to be. Seven of Wands. Okay, clearance. Releasing that which no longer serves you. Understanding that it's, you know, it had its place. It had its place. It's had its fire. It had its spark within. But, all right, you're going to have to, you're going to have to let this go because you're carrying around the skeletons in your closet here. And this skeleton has no legs. So there's no way to that this person, they were never going to move forward with you, okay? You may have talked to them about, you know, going after your dreams, and they always were like, oh, that would be so fun. And But when it got to the moment, no, they were never going to move on with you in that way, okay? So three of swords, future energy here, okay? Four of wands, celebration. Uh, this could be you showing up on Facebook, okay, or Instagram, Snapchat, somewhere, okay, out partying with your new person, okay, and this person is sad, okay, sad, really sad. They're like, I'm having all the responsibility. I'm back here carrying all of this burden and you're off having all of the fun.
And again, three of swords, jealous, jealous. Here's the thing, okay? You still feel bound to this person a little bit because for so long they were your strength and it's because of them that you grew. And so you're still carrying some of them in your head. But there's the five of arrows, okay? This person did not want to see you shine. Five of swords, their frustration was, that's what the frustration was, okay? You're shining, you're doing well. You're moving forward, right? I'm not. They may have kept trying to underhandedly, like could have been gaslighting you. Because the seven of arrows here is that they were, they were throwing you shade and you didn't even know it. And a lot of it created insecurity in you. Spirit is saying, that's them, that's not you. Okay, become the swan. Move on to new waters. Allow yourself to take your power back. Okay, take your power back, Virgo. So let's pull a couple of cards from the universe to see what we're not seeing underneath the surface here. Yeah, you are magical. You are alchemy within. Nine of Cups. It's time to see the brilliance of what you are as a being and what you're creating and to love yourself again, okay? To bring yourself out of the chaos of this tornado that you've been in and love yourself again. Yeah, it was very emotional and very hard for you to move on away from this person. Okay, but you couldn't see clearly until you did. You were too stuck in the emotions and being pulled by the manipulative energies of this person. Yeah, this is your second chance to see yourself differently. Six of Cups, okay? To see yourself for who you truly are. Okay, yeah, there we have it. There's the Wheel of Fortune. You are completing the cycle. And this is beautiful. This is actually in the um, Patreon group. We are doing twice a month Zoom integrative shamanic work. And this is what we're doing is we're doing this cycle, okay, of completion. And you're completing a cycle here. It's beautiful. Three of Wands. Okay, you've been guided to this path by higher levels and to this new connection by higher levels. All right, allow it. It's quite beautiful and it will be quite balancing. So let's go ahead and pull out an Oracle card and then I'm going to move to that extended. The extended link is down below. You can find me over there on Patreon. You can always, for the most recent video extended, you can always um, rent them over on Vimeo if you choose. And then there's links below for personal readings or any other way that you want to connect with me or a karmic donation if you would like to go ahead and do that. So, ooh, that was a save. Ooh, you got bare. You are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. Yeah, you're starting something new fresh like a baby bear that's finally moving away from its mother. 
okay? It's safe for you to be stepping into this light, into this new life, into this new space. Let's go ahead and read from the book. 24. I'm going to turn my glasses. You are the light, element earth, meaning it is safe to step fully into your light. When the bear appeared to me, he led me into a beautiful sunset and engulfed in that gorgeous yellow glow, I felt warmth around and within me. His message is simple. It is safe to step into the light. I give you strength to do that. It is safe to be seen. The bear stands strong and powerful in his conviction, and he walks with you. He is guarding your spirit body. Just as spirit take on the role of our gatekeepers, guarding and protecting our entry into the astral planes and other dimensions, so too do the animals. His role is to transport you safely, very much like the wolf. I often see them appear together. He makes sure that you get to where you need to be, leading you only to high vibrational planes that match your energy. Call on your bear before meditation and sleeping hours. He is happy to be of service. It may be at these times that you need some extra strength, an extra helper to lead you to the light and to see what lies within. The crystal companions are sunstone, Amber, red, flint, and pyrite. Okay, beautiful. I love it. Okay, so I hope this helped you. I'm going to leave you a sneak peek of that extended, and I hope to see you guys next time. Much love. All right, bye. Okay, Virgo, <clears throat> let's see what your lesson is here. Okay. Passion. You are overly experiencing passion or lust in a charged situation. See, I saw that. I saw that knight, right? That knight of wands. I have a hidden agenda in regards to the way I feel about you. You got someone spicy, spicy coming into your life, okay? <laughs> Not bad, Virgo. Okay. So, what would this person, this spicy, spicy, want to tell you if they could say something to you right now? Lately, I've been thinking about you. Okay, so if you haven't met them yet, they're thinking about the next one that's going to come into them. Okay. Release the hold on my heart. All right. They already feel... Whether you've met them or not, they already feel this deep pull and attraction to your energetic being. Our souls speak the same language. So this is a soulmate. Okay, beautiful energy. Now, gotta do it. What does the past want to say to you right now? Let's be friends. Okay, they're trying to save face. They're trying to stay connected to you. They, um, you know, there's that feeling that if I stay friends with you, maybe there's a chance. You know you are killing me, right? Like, you're leaving me behind. And I'm so broken. Stop trying to control this. Okay, they may think that everything that you're doing in their head is a manipulation. They don't see that all you're doing is following the dreams that you've been sharing with them all along of what your purpose and your path was. All right. <clears throat> 